Hello, my name is John Cassiopo. I'm a Tiffany and Margaret Blake Distinguished Service Professor at the University of Chicago. I direct the Center uh, for Cognitive and Social Neuroscience at Chicago as well. Uh, we've been studying isolation for the past 20 years, its effects on people and their relationships and their physical health. Uh, and it's been of interest to us because of a paper that appeared, a scientific finding some 25 years old now, that suggested isolation was associated with broad-based morbidity and mortality. That is, those people who were isolated or felt isolated died earlier and lived more miserable lives. Um, the explanations that were provided 25 years ago were um, plausible but not proven and seemed to me to not likely carry much of the weight. That was based partly because of the evidence that existed at the time and in part because um, being isolated as a social animal like we are uh, has such harmful effects on other species that are social, whether it's a fruit fly or a rodent or a dog, a horse, um, water buffalo. When you take one and you isolate that animal, uh, they die earlier. And so I became interested in what are the mechanisms? Why is it that they were dying earlier? And what could we learn about our own lives from studying uh, both humans and non-human animals.